Good morning, y'all. It's early. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I've been up. Uh, I- I'm telling you all, I love the Lord. I love God. And I love how he does things. As I look at all of the pressing topics and things that's going on with the body of Christ and in the world, I like how God is really shaking up things. He He's shaking up foundations and f- a lot of fundamental beliefs that things that we have always done and always believed and and we've just come to to find out that a lot of this stuff is not it is not biblical it's not scripture things that people have said for years god is just he's just shaking up a lot of stuff honey <laughs> and he is causing us to get in your word and read it. I mean, f- even from the beginning of the pandemic, you know, people that I, I've heard people say, ministers say that you need to be in church. You got to go to a church. Don't be listening to these YouTube and, and, and internet ministers. God shook it up, honey, where you couldn't even go to a church. And you still can maintain your faith in God. So that that foundation of you got to be in the church or you need to be in the fellowship of a church. um, And then they use the scripture where two or three are gathered together. God shook that up, honey. And he allowed churches to be closed and to let you see you can still maintain your faith. And look now, the, the fundamental teaching about tithing. He's sh- shaking that up, and it's caused people to take another look at what does the scripture say going on to abortion. Is God pleased with babies, unborn babies being murdered? He's shaking it up. God is shaking up fundamental things that are not scripture. If if it does not if it's not causing you to dig in your Bible, honey, and and what is so sad to me, I was looking at a, a video of 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 they had uh, four different pastors on, and honey, let me tell you something. The 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 knowledge and wisdom. And I'm talking about God knowledge, biblical wisdom of our so-called leaders, honey. It is on zero. No, no scripture base of nothing. Most of the people are using examples based on what they've done, they're, they're, what other people have done. Not going to the text, not going, not using scriptures for nothing. And it's sad. It is really sad. So I'm to I just love God and I love how he's shaking up things and 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 uh, uh causing people to dig into the scripture. Cause a lot of things that we've heard from different pastors and bishops has been pastors and bishops for years, honey. They are not preaching the gospel. They are not sticking with scripture, baby. They they talking about stuff they've done, their experience. Honey, the scripture always override your experience or what you have done. So I I I just I thank God for shaking up the church with these topics, honey. I really do. Because you know what? He doesn't want any of us to be ignorant. He doesn't want any of us to not know the truth. That's why these these conversations are coming up. I'm telling you, it, and I, I love him for it. I really do. I love God for it. Mm, mm, mm. He's just shaking up a lot of things. And there's more things to come. 
more things to come. P folks have itching ears, honey. Some folk ain't going to never unplug their ears to see the truth. You know why? Because they blinded by um, people. Some people won't speak the truth or challenge people because of who they are. They're afraid to challenge. They got so much respect for certain bishops and preachers that they won't challenge them with what the scripture says. They're afraid. So they'll just agree. Because that's bishop so-and-so and that's pastor so-and-so. But what does the scripture say? What does the Bible teach? The word of God triumphs over everybody, every man's opinion, every man's experience. What does the scriptures teach? A lot of us are blinded because it's pastor so-and-so that said it. It's bishop so-and-so that said it. Let me tell y'all something. We're going to be held accountable for what we say and what we do and how we are leading people. You better find out what the scriptures say for real. You better ask yourself, is that what it really means? Lord have mercy. So I, I, I'm I, just sitting here, honey. I say, God, shake up some more stuff. And let me tell you something. If you're going to be a preacher of this gospel, baby, you can't be no jellyback Christian. You can't let you cannot be a jellyback Christian. You can't be afraid of people's faces. You can't be afraid of their titles. And you can't do it if you're going to preach this whole gospel. And you definitely have to choose a side. Some folks say they don't want to choose no side. They're going to just be in the middle. You can't be in the middle, honey. You're going to have to choose to what God be on the Lord's side. And you're going to have to say what God said, regardless of who is in the in the room. And I'm telling you, when you minister the word of God, folks is not going to like you, honey. When you tell them the truth, folk not going to like you. Because it shake up their foundation. And a lot of our foundations need to be shook. And a lot of things that we all have always believed need to be shook. Because it's just not right. That tithing message has been wrong for years. Abortion is wrong. Homosexuality is wrong. But those are topics that most of the church try to stay away from because you already know, honey, they're going to counsel you. They ain't going to invite you. You won't be in the clique. You won't be in the group. But, honey, I could care less because we got to give an account to God. That's why you better get in the scripture and get on the Lord's side. And, and whatever the scripture say, that's what you better stick to, honey. You better stick to that. But I, I'm telling you, it's a sad day in the in the body of Christ that these that these ministers, I mean educated, they done got done been to the biblical colleges and everything, honey. But they don't have any knowledge when it comes to what the scripture says. And some of this stuff you ain't even, you ain't even got to go to a Bible college to understand. The Bible says a child can understand some of this stuff, honey. It's just plain and simple. But the Bible lets us know men come there and make merchandise out of you, honey, for their own lust and for their own gain. Lord have mercy. So I'm I'm glad God is is, is uh allowing these conversations to be had on different platforms. I really am. Because it's, it's needed. The gospel is simple, honey. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on that's not being, that's not right. And God is shaking it up. Shake it up some more, Lord. That's what I say. And you, and you Christians, y'all get a backbone, honey. Get you a backbone. And don't be afraid to say, thus what says the Lord. I don't care who's speaking what. You better choose who you're going to serve. And everybody ain't going to like it. And, and everybody not going to um, 
call you to sit on platforms with them because they know you're going to speak the scripture without manipulating people, without twisting the gospel. There's a lot of manipulation. But if you don't know what the word of God say, you won't know about the manipulation. You won't know. You won't see the deception. Because that's your friend that said it. So you can't say nothing. No. Time out for all that, honey. And anyway, I just wanted to come on and say that I just thank God for how he's shaking up things. I really do. Y'all search the scriptures. Y'all study the word of God. Find out what God is saying. What does God say about tithing? What does God say about abortion? What does God say about these things? Just like lying and hatred. What does the Lord say in the scripture? The scripture, what does he say? Lord have mercy. All right, y'all go ahead and have a great day. And I'm going to get up from here. And I'm definitely having me a great day today. But um, Lord, I thank you for how you just shaking up things. All right, love y'all, toodles.